the Stone Age man, in his struggle against prehistoric monsters, relied on his inventiveness for self-preservation. Many of our modern ideas are based on primitive man's genius. So, let us get acquainted with our ancestors in this primeval village. Mm, just like any residential home today, including the doghouse. The newsboys had respect for late sleepers and delivered the early morning papers just as quietly as ours are today. Good morning. Come on out. Get acquainted. Meet the folks. That's right. Who are you? I'm a hunter. I hunt stuff. Stone Age hunters were expert arrow makers. Some arrows were known to last for days on end. Well, let us continue our tour. This is the workshop of Alexander Graham Fong, local inventor. Let us see what task he is so engrossed in. You should never end a sentence with a preposition. Try it again. Sorry, Professor. Primitive man even tried to invent a telephone. We are about to witness the first telephone conversation. man of the Dark Ages. He appears to be quite the gentleman, as suave, intelligent, and dignified as any business executive of today. <laughs> but underneath it all, he's just a gay old dog. Well, here's the newsboy again, delivering the afternoon papers. Watch the perfect accuracy with which the young lad heaves the heavy news slab. Nice shot. Well, it's our friend the hunter. Had any luck? your button in on my hunting, but you got to get the sound effects right. That was an arrow. An arrow. I'm sorry. We're all out of sounds for arrows. Well, what do you got? Let's see. We have some good sneezes. <laughs> nah, give me something with a little finesse. You know, stop. How about a good splash? Or thunder. Nah. Well, I'm afraid the nearest thing to it is the first one. Okay, okay, I'll use it. All right, bud, hit me. Whoa! Timber! Timber! man's first attempt to emulate the flight of birds. He hollowed out a huge rock in the shape of a balloon. All right, gentlemen, cut it loose. Well, one of the Wright brothers was wrong. Further on in the so-called uncivilized world, we find they too had great stadiums dedicated to the development of the body beautiful, both in mind and muscle. Well, it looks as if we were in time to witness an event. They're in the corners. Apparently, things haven't changed much in that line of sport. Well, here's our hunter friend again. 
Say, he's a busy little fellow. I wonder what he's up to now. Oh, I'm sorry. Taxidermy was an art, even in those days. What a dandy trophy he'd make. Uh-oh, he did.